Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Joe Football Show. And it is Monday, the 25th of July. I hope you are all doing well. And we are here to talk about the latest transfer news concerning Leeds United. Of course, we are just 12 days away now from the start of the season, from that home game against Wolverhampton Wanderers. And I'm getting itchy feet. Like, the club need to start making moves now, genuinely. Um, we've got a number of, like, stories that just are continuing and don't look like they're going to come to a close. And my worry is, by the start of the season, we won't have a left-back and striker in. 12 days is a long time in football. Maybe I'm being harsh. But look, there is still no agreement reached on CDK. There is still no agreement. There's still no further movement on Cali Muendo. And of course, in the last 24 to 48 hours, we've been linked to another striker by the name of Mergim Barisha who we will speak about very, very shortly. But before we do, folks, I'm less than 100 people away from 14,000 subscribers. Amazing support. Thank you so much for all that you do for me. And, uh, and if you are new, please do subscribe. I want to get to that 14K, 20K by the end of the year. Like the video, uh, get your comments in, of course, and, and hit that notification bell. Um, yeah, so like I said, there is still no agreement on CDK. Of course, we had Alex... Uh, come on the channel the other day, and I released that video on Sunday. It's done fantastically well, and uh, thank you for all your support with that. We got loads of meat on the bones, but again, still nothing has developed. And Leeds rightly are waiting in the wings, but as I said to you just a second ago, I'm getting a little bit of itchy feet. I need there to be some movement. We can't start the season with just Bamford and, uh, and Joffrey. We can't, because if Bamford breaks down, oh, before you know it, Dan James is leading the line again. I'm sorry to have to do it, but we can't go into a Premier League season with Dan James even being considered as a striker option. Of course, the second option to CDK seems to be uh, Cali Mwendo. Now, Galtier has been speaking about him. He has been ripping it up in pre-season. Anybody that's been taking a, a look at that will see that he's been scoring some good goals in a very strong PSG side. Uh, Galtier, the new manager, said, look, I'm more than happy with him. He's doing great. But then there is the market. We'll see club and players' decision. Of course, he's not going to get much game time when the season starts, and the club do need to sell. PSG do need to sell, and they are making striker movements already, bringing in Ekatike, and then the fact that you've already got Icardi, Messi, etc., etc., it's not going to get game time. So if Leeds United or CDK isn't going to come and we're not going to push the button there, let's get Cali. But then, but now, there has been a new link to Mergim Barisha. Apparently, the striker has been offered to Leeds United for a small fee of £4.3 million. Um, look, straight away, when I seen this link, I'm like, that's so cheap. Why is it so cheap? Why do we need to be in them circles? We've been linked to CDK at like €37 million. Euros. Callum Awender at like... 22 million English pounds, and now we're getting linked to a player at 4.3 million, um, who's currently playing his trade in Turkey and previously has played in the Austrian Bundesliga. Um, he does have offers on the table from Germany. I'm not saying he is a slouch, I'm just not quite sure about Mergin Barisha being a Premier League uh, striker. The reason for the links of well, of course, he's played under Jesse Marsh before. Uh, at RB Salzburg, and he actually had quite a, a profitable spell with Marsh um, when he was at Salzburg. But we have to remember that this is the Austrian Bundesliga. Of course, Aronson smashed it over there, Christensen smashed it over there, and they look like they'll be able to transfer their skills into the Premier League. I will say that. I think both of them will have a great season. My concern is, uh, though, with, with Barisha, I don't know if it'll it'll transfer into the Premier League. Look, he played some of his best football under Jesse Marsh, right? And it is a cheap deal. So you can understand why the club may uh, look at it. But I think it'd be very, very underwhelming. And there's a reason why he's so cheap. Look, he is only 24-year-old. It's still a, a great age. Um, under Marsh, like I say, played 52 times for him, getting 23 goals and 14 assists which is a very good return, right? Some of them even came in the Champions League for Salzburg, all right? But again, I bring it back to that step up from the Austrian Bundesliga. Now, he did get transferred over to Fenerbahce. They finished second last season in the in the Super League over in, in Turkey. And of course, that's a step up. Um, so you're like, right, okay, how's he done there? Well, he only scored four goals and got one assist in 22 appearances. 
So already them skills haven't transferred for me from the Bundesliga to the Turkish Super League. Listen, I've not seen him play and I might be wrong and, and, and people might chastise me for it, but the numbers don't lie. Yes, he had a very profitable spell under Marsh, but that shouldn't be enough to say, all oh, right, okay, he's going to transfer over to the Premier League. There's a reason why he's so cheap. There's a reason why Fenerbahce are willing to move him on after just playing 22 competitive games for them. Um, look, some would argue it's perfect value for money. At £4.3 million, pounds, he's 24-year-old. He could come to the Premier League and rip it up. But I'm not too sure. And it's one, for me, that Leeds United should stay away from. Um, I know this might not be any sort of comparable in terms of skill set, but I remember Cenk Torsen. Torsen was ripping it up. He came to Everton and did nothing. I don't even know if he's still at Everton. But there's a number of these cases where they've done pretty well. And listen, he hasn't done well in the Super League. He's done well in the Austrian Bundesliga. But Leeds United needs someone that's going to get goals. And I'm not quite sure if Mergen Barisha is that striker. I I like CDK because he's a a young talent. He's been coined the next Kevin De Bruyne. He can play in a number of positions. And look, Barisha can as well. He is predominantly a centre forward, but can play as a second striker. And of course, off the right wing as well. And it's clearly United are looking for someone that can play off Bamford or can play off a Joffe or vice versa. Um, But CDK fits that more perfectly. Callum Awenda will play off, off the shoulder of the striker, has pace to burn and will get goals. We've seen that. We can see that he's done that in league and I think his skills will be transferable. I'm just not sure on Barisha. Let me know your thoughts, folks. If Leeds United were to bring in Barisha and then get a left back, how would you feel about the window? I know Leif Davis apparently will, will secure a move to Ipswich by the end of this week, which means even the chase for the left back is even more prominent. I believe we inquired about uh, Manchester United youngster Alvaro Fernandez for the left back spot, but he looks like he's on loan to Preston, which... I hope we weren't in for because there's a reason he's gone to Preston, if that makes sense. Um, maybe we knock on the door for Brandon Williams, perhaps. I don't think he would be a back, bad acquisition. But we need to get one in if, of course, we are we are looking to move Leaf on. And I think that will be signed, sealed, delivered by the end of this week. He'll be an Ipswich player. Um, but if we were to get a loan at Brandon Williams and then uh, sign striker Mergin Barisha and that was it, then I'd be looking and saying then people that said we needed to sell Jack Harrison in order to fund players, I'd have to agree with them because these are cut price deals that aren't going to cost, cost the club a lot of money, but they're very negligent and very worrying for me. Listen, I might be wrong, Borussia could come and smash it, but I'm just not sure the numbers are there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If indeed we were to sign Borussia, would you be okay with that? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks as always for watching the channel. Enjoy your day. Like, listen, like I said, less than 100 people away. From 14k, subscribe if you haven't already. Over 55% of you haven't. Thanks always for watching. I'll see you in a bit. Peace out. Leads easy.